Imagine yourself in Alaska. It is a panoramic postcard. Everything is an image of nature. Animals are abundant. They're everywhere. It's really one of the last frontiers. Here at the Woodland Park Zoo, we're designing and building the Northern Trail exhibit, which is essentially a recreation of the Alaska experience. Much of the exhibit is designed around the concept of replicating the taiga, which is a fascinating band of coniferous forest that rings the northern latitudes of the earth. The bald eagle is one of the largest and most magnificent of birds in North America. In the Northern Trail, we'll have a bald eagle exhibit in which we hope to be able to show the birds um, very naturally. The visitors will have a viewing platform which will have no wires, no bars, no mesh, and they'll be able to look in to see the birds perched naturally and flying through the exhibit and feeding uh, in a stream or pools. Woodland Park Zoo has a long-term commitment to bald eagles. For more than 20 years, we've had a rehabilitation program to return injured eagles to the wild. And what's exciting is that now we can create an exhibit where we'll be able to show the animals to the visitors in a very naturalistic way. Another animal we'll be exhibiting in the Northern Trail is the brown bear, or grizzly bear as it's known in the United States. The grizzly bear is truly the symbol of wilderness. They are the largest of the land carnivores, yet they live primarily on vegetation as a food source. Their power is really phenomenal. They use it in many ways, uh, primarily as a food gathering tool. They do an awful lot of digging, and that's really the main reason for the very large claws on the brown bear. It's, it's a digging tool, not so much a weapon. In the Northern Trail exhibit, we plan on constructing a grizzly exhibit that will duplicate as closely as possible the typical type of habitat that you'd see these animals in, in Alaska. One of the more unusual features we will include in this exhibit is the ability for the public to view the animal below the level of the water in the pool area so they can actually see the animals swim, wade around, and forage at the water's edge and in the deeper water. Wolves are really fascinating. They're, uh, at one time, wolves were the, outside of man, were the most widely distributed species of mammal on the earth. They are carnivores, they're meat eaters. Uh, they eat everything from mice to moose. Uh, wolves are really kind of the marathon runners of, of the animal world. They can uh, lope for hours at about five miles an hour, uh, kick it up to 25 miles an hour for 30 minutes easily, and then still have enough stamina to hit 40 miles an hour in a rush for a, on a kill. With this particular exhibit, we hope to educate the people on the value of the wolf, the role it plays within its ecosystem, and hopefully people will gain a better appreciation for the animal as, a, as an individual and as a species. Besides the, the wolves in our new exhibit area, we will also feature mountain goats, snowy owls, and the red fox. It's interesting to note that the red fox is now the most widely spread representative of the wild dogs, which is a position that was once held by the wolves. Among the things we looked at during our research trip to Alaska were the kinds of habitats that each of the animals we're gonna feature in the Northern Trail lived in so that we could replicate those habitats as correctly as possible. For example, we found that brown bears, grizzly bears, 
spent a lot of time along wide, gravelly, braided rivers, and so our grizzly bear habitat in the Northern Trail will replicate that landscape. The amount of work that goes into planning and constructing an exhibit as complex as the Northern Trail is just immense. Uh, it took us two years to plan the exhibit, and it will take us about two years to build the exhibit. To me, Alaska is a magical, enchanting place. But I think with the Northern Trail exhibit, we've also recreated some of that magic and some of that enchantment here at the zoo. Now, I would urge everyone, if at all possible, to go to Alaska. It's just fantastic. But if you only have half a day, come to the zoo. I think you'll get some of the feeling of Alaska here.